step-by-step -step ClickFunnels 2.0 tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we are going to be discussing about ClickFunnels 2.0 and how you can use this actually amazing and absolutely incredible app to you know just have a great sense of funneling and have a great sense of analytics and you know actually see how your business or how you know maybe your affiliation or something like that you know just to tell how that stuff is actually running so it's just a really great tool to have for yourself a great tool to have if you were you know into the business game and uh, yeah we're going to be discussing it all in great depth so please do make sure to watch this video till the end to listen and gain all the information you can about click funnels 2.0 so without further ado let's just get straight into it now this is ClickFunnels 2.0. Obviously, you're going to go to ClickFunnels.com. And once you're in ClickFunnels.com, you're going to sign in and everything. Uh, obviously, uh, it's a paid plan, so you're going to have to pay for it and everything. Once you do that, obviously, you're going to land here in the dashboard. And this is going to be your ClickFunnels 2.0. Okay, you can obviously use the 1.0 version, but uh, I just, you know, there's the classic. And in the classic, as you can see, um, ClickFunnels Classic, it's free, but, you know, you need to get maintenance access for it. And you can edit existing funnels in it, but you can't create new funnels in it or you can't create new follow-up funnels. In ClickFunnels 2.0, you can create workflow funnels, create entire websites, create marketing workflows, and create and send proper emails. And you can obviously integrate it with your ClickFunnels Classic as well if you want to like obviously if you're a former customer that has already been using ClickFlow ClickFunnel Classic then obviously that would make sense why you would actually want to integrate these two tools together but yeah if you're starting off then I would just recommend starting off with 2.0 it's absolutely out of this world. So once we're over here, this is obviously your main dashboard and you can see all these things, you know, total sales, total leads, recent activity, you know, by, by just looking at all of these, we can tell that these are, you know, the analytical sections and all that. So pretty basic stuff. Now on the left-hand side, as you walk in, we see, first of all, we have dashboards, we have the sites, we have funnels, products, orders, contacts, analytics, marketing, sales, settings, and payments, okay? So obviously, first of all, this is your dashboard where you do all the creating. So you can create blog posts, broadcast, funnels, pages, products, and workflows. Uh, I'm gonna be getting into that in a short bit. Let's go ahead and discuss the other things. So first of all, there's site, okay? And this is, you know, as I told you that ClickFunnels 2.0 helps you create a whole website this is that tool so it's a lot like if you use shopify it's a lot like that you know they give you a theme and then in that theme you can go ahead and start customizing it you can even explore and choose new themes i don't think that they have a lot of new themes because obviously this feature is totally new for like the website creation so i doubt that they have a lot of themes but uh, you can obviously there's no one holding you back from exploring it so do go ahead and obviously in the site you have the blogs you know, you can create your very own blog and you can create every, you know, blog needs blog posts and you can create your very own discrete blog posts over here. You have customer center, which is obviously a type of a CRM for yourself. Okay. You can use this as a CRM with CRM means customer relationship management platform. Okay. And um, it just gives you a good outlook on uh, how things would be when customers are engaging with your actual blog okay now obviously moving on there's funnels okay these are the funnels that you can create for your website obviously as you can see i've created a few funnels and i'm going to teach you how to create more so please do keep watching there's pages okay and much more so that obviously all goes with your site and then obviously you you are gonna have to need to have a domain currently as you can see i'm using the free domain that was offered by click funnels but if you want to you know actually buy a domain you can buy it from here or connect an existing domain that you have already bought you can just choose that but yeah pretty simple stuff moving on here's funnels okay again this is your basic page where you can create funnels for yourselves and uh, then there's products okay and products is obviously let's say in the workspace you are you know running a type of an e-commerce store or something like that then you can obviously add those products over here you can create proper products and add them in this space over here and you have different product tags you have orders okay 
again orders are also a pretty fun thing you can see the subscription status and everything of your orders and uh, you can see you know pending orders subscriptions draft orders abandoned orders abandoned orders are basically the abandoned carts and abandoned carts are uh, like let me give you an example if uh, a customer came to your store and you know they liked the product of yours and they added it to their cart and they were like just about to check out but then they immediately leave the website without discarding the items from the cart or without you know actually doing anything about that so that's basically the abandoned cart technique and yeah that's what the abandoned cart technique actually does it it lets you know that you have an abandoned cart then moving on you have contacts okay in contacts you can actually go ahead you know add contacts you can import them you have different contact tags you have segments contact imports contact exports contact attributes and moving on you have analytics okay analytics this is basically your main analytical section where you can get different you know different types of reports and uh, yeah you can get different types of you know things to go along with it so yeah basically your reports and analytics for you know any type of page that you actually have to go along with it and it's pretty pretty great and fun stuff to have for your site because uh, it just helps you get a very familiar view of your website and how you're actually you know gonna help your users work with it and help your users actually get behind it so yeah moving on to create things you're gonna come to dashboard okay and once you come here here in the create you can see you get blog posts you get broadcasts funnels page so let's say i want to create a funnel i'm gonna go ahead and click on create so yeah there we go new funnel we're gonna click uh, click on create new funnel once you do that as you can see it takes you into loading now once it takes you into loading as you can see it gives you this whole blank page chart okay and in this blank page chart where is the place where we're actually going to go ahead and create a funnel so uh basically to start off what you're going to want to do is as you can see add your first step by clicking here obviously click on this plus sign and once you click on that you know create new page you know add a page in your funnel obviously there needs to be a page so obviously let's choose from these templates okay i'm just gonna add a random description for the page and just click on create page so obviously that will add a page to this funnel and as you can see i just added a page into my funnel and obviously you can keep on doing that and save these things for yourself you know turn on test mode and everything and all that and yeah that should be good for you so uh i hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you and uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me. I am always available and I will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guide for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll see you next time. Uh, before signing off, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.